Saint Augustine extols the virtue of chastity. Not to forget that Saint Augustine, up until he was about 30 years old, even beyond that, struggled a lot in his life. And his biggest struggle was against unchastity. He actually knew that he should give up his impurity, but he didn't have the strength. He actually prayed, Lord, give me chastity, but not yet. He compared it to, carrying, to climbing a huge mountain and make some steps. Then he'd have to stop some more steps, and then he'd have to stop. And then finally, Augustine in the garden heard a voice that said, Take and read. And he took from the Bible, Romans 13, 13, Do not give provision to the flesh, but put on the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And Augustine told his mother, with tears in his eyes, that he wanted to become a Christian. He was baptized by the great St. Ambrose. And then, his life was different. So St. Augustine has a lot to say about this topic. He says that chastity or cleanness of heart holds a glorious and distinguished place among the virtues because she alone enables man to see God. Remember what our Lord said in the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they will see God. It means we'll be able to see God when we contemplate, when we meditate, when we pray. We'll be able to see God in persons, places, things, circumstances. We'll be able to have eyes, mystical eyes, contemplative eyes. <clears throat> we'll be able to contemplate God forever in heaven. And Augustine continues by saying that, hence truth itself said, Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Of course, truth itself is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Augustine also said this, There is no remedy so powerful against the heat of concupiscence as the remembrance of our Savior's passion. In other words, our Lord suffered on the cross, he suffered especially the scourging at the pillar, the loss of his precious blood, in reparation for the sins against the virtue of purity. So may St. Augustine, who was converted from a life of impurity to a life of great holiness, help us to acquire this precious virtue.